Well, we had a lot of great feedback about our chat with Stephen Senatiampo last week. Stephen is the presenter on 2CC in Canberra every weekday from 5.30am to 9am. And there isn't a topic that he doesn't have a well-considered opinion about. Firstly, let's look at the distressing way Australia is fracturing these days. Warren Mundine, who is one of the most admirable and likeable blokes in Australian politics, said last night that since he expressed his opposition to the Indigenous voice to Parliament, he's copped more racism than at any other time in his life. And he grew up during the supposedly racist 1960s and 70s. Then we have another wonderful Indigenous voice, the new Northern Territory Senator Jacinta Price, being threatened by the white privileged commentator Peter Fitzsimons. This started when Fitzsimons interviewed Price last week which Price later complained was overtly aggressive. Now, it's difficult to know what really happened in the interview because Fitzsimons has so far declined to release the audio of the conversation. And there's no evidence that what he said was racist. But there is a disturbing amount of rancour in public debate these days. Let's bring Stephen in to talk about it. Stephen, welcome to the show. G'day, Fred. Good to be back. Stephen, for decades we have had laws that prohibit excessively offensive speech. These laws were meant to make us a more civil society. Do you think they have? No, well, no they haven't. I, I mean, particularly if you look at this debate, and we, we touched on it last week when we spoke, this voice to parliament has just created more division. There's something that is supposedly supposed to bring us together, um, and I can't see how it does when it... it its objective is to create two different class of Australian. But um, I happened to bump into Warren uh, about two weeks ago and we had a chat and uh, he made the comment that, uh, you know, it's, it's ironic that he, coming from an Aboriginal background, is being called a racist by a bunch of white people who have a, an opinion on Aboriginal issues that apparently he shouldn't hold. And it's just extraordinary that, you know, if you come from one side of politics, you're allowed to say whatever you like. If you come from the other side, you seem to be fair game. And I think Warren's finding that now that uh, obviously, you know, he spent many, many years in the Labor Party. He's now come across to the other side of politics and uh, seems to be fair game for people calling him things like Uncle Tom and the like. And you know, he, he speaks with common sense. I mean, to, and as does Jacinta Price, as you pointed out, but Warren made the point to me when we were talking about the concept of reconciliation. And he said, once upon a time, reconciliation meant you do something wrong to me. I ask you to apologise, you apologise, I forgive you and it's over. He said, this thing is just going to go on forever and there doesn't seem to ever going to be a re resolution. And that's coming from somebody from the Indigenous group side of the argument as opposed to you know, blokes like us who are well, whiter than white. 